Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra for the month of May 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, also, although I am reading for May, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Let's begin. At the heart of this reading, we have a card of responsibility for something that was created or for the current circumstances. Um, over here, we have uh, also the card of the master. Now, these two cards, I'm, I'm bringing this up because they connect. Because although they are different, there is a lot of similarities between these two cards. For instance, they are both ruled by Saturn and Capricorn. Okay, so... Um, but this one down here is um, is also joined by Venus and uh, Taurus. So somebody is feeling very unforgiving about a past situation, but they fail to recognize their part in it. And that's the thing. That's what these cards are saying. And this is what they need to recognize it's what they need to see they need to see their part in um in this situation from the past or how their behavior played a part in it okay i'm just going to move these here i don't feel i should read those quite yet hold on Yeah, so they need to recognize, see, they're not even looking at it. They need to recognize or uh, accept responsibility for their part in a tower moment that happened in the past and this, uh, this dual card here. Okay, so an argument took place and uh, it's, it's almost like a, I know it's nine of swords, but this is like a, a very interesting deck because it's, part tarot part oracle so it's uh, it's very different and it is about a duel and uh it's like well there can only be one winner on this card and they intend to be that winner or they believe that they are right and you are wrong so again uh this just fits right in with what i'm seeing here having to do with the uh with the ego and not willing to admit to their part in something and I feel like it could be a pattern of behavior that developed in this person because of you know life experience but they're not seeing it uh, or are not willing to see if you look closely although it looks like all the other moon cards but there's no light Okay, the eyes are closed, so this is like completely dark. So it's like they're in the dark or or they're just not willing to look. Her head seems to be kind of bowed down. It's covered. Um, at what actually drives them or, or what actually was at, what set them off? Because those wolves on this picture, take another look. Are, it's like they're howling at her. So something inside of this person was screaming, pinched, you see? Something, and, and they don't yet see or that they need to see what was truly at the root of that. What actually really did set them off? It could be with this next card, it's a card of ruthlessness, um, but, you know, it could be that they're standing firm on their decision. Um, they, okay, because of past experience, I feel like this person wants to try to control everything. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what they're telling me. Okay. Mm-hmm. I feel like, uh, see, there's that wounded heart and it's something from the deep past 
because those swords fell out a long time ago. But the wound never healed, you know. It's still bleeding, you see. Yeah. And it, it appears like it, it's like in the dark. There's a lot of clouds and confusion. There's a lot of rain. Rain. Uh, a lot, all these raindrops speak to many, many worries. And then we have this card of uh, of steadfastness. It's it, and and st it's like they're standing firm, even with Esclamon de Foi. Uh, they they could be obsessing over uh, situations from the past that didn't work. And it appears as though it is a pattern for this person. The hanged man is reflecting on a pattern or a cycle. And they're looking away from uh, this judgment card. They're looking away from the devil. They're, 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 they're like looking at answers, but I feel are for answers, for understanding, but they're not looking in the right place. They're looking away. This is behind them. They're burdened with this uh, Three of Wands. Something is weighing them down. Um, they could feel very fatigued. Yeah, see? Yeah, this has to do with a love situation or the forward movement or taking control of, or the loss of control. Unable to steer it the way they wanted it to go. And now, they're like in this uh, woe is me type of energy. It's here and it's here. Um, somebody who's really feeling down emotionally. Um, but they're not doing anything about it. You see, they're looking away from the problem. They don't want to look at the problem. Again, it's all over this reading. So, they made a bad choice. And maybe they don't want to admit to it. You know? Um, but they did make a bad choice here. Uh, and I feel like they they walked away from an opportunity because of an unseen threat now that un again we're talking about the unseen there's something uh, that that made this person afraid something that stung that made them run and it it had nothing to do with you Okay, it comes from the deep past. Like it had nothing to do with you, but yet it had everything to do with you because you, you're you hurt also. It's hurting you. It's affecting you. This person's um, unwillingness to look at uh, this um, where this pain is really coming from. And uh, to accept uh, responsibility for for something that they've done here, or for a, an action or a reaction that they've done. Poor choices. See, we had that over here. Um, somebody. Uh, became uh, overly emotional. Well, the moon would talk about the, yeah, see, repressed and repressed emotions. So there were repressed emotions from a previous experience that overwhelmed this person in the moment at this meeting here that took place. You see it? This is a meeting. And look at the confrontation. And the other person, the taller person here, 
is is shown to be like handicapped you know it's almost like uh, this person hit them when they weren't expecting it and they don't know what it's about of course they don't know what's what it's about it's because it's from this person's deep past so this person here is attacking them because of something that happened to them a long time ago and they're still what they're still holding on to it look at that but look what's creeping up behind them this person's about to get a wake-up call and it's ruled by Saturn so this is like a major shake-up Saturn can be hard you know and and this this can be part of that the the, the fact that you guys are not together and you love each other um, but you're separated because of something somebody's unwilling to look at you know Th these are very difficult circumstances that yes uh, indeed are affecting the both of you now somebody here is putting effort into looking at what was written and we see it over here you see how he's looking in that book trying to find or figure things out okay so and he's looked through many books you can see the pile see them piled up and it's taken quite a bit of time we have a timer on it but we know that this is reflection because the next card beneath it is telling me that that's what this is about yeah look at that look at that there's something that's haunting this person it's 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 trailing after them so and they're just trying to figure things out this is something that it just doesn't let them let them go what happened why did it happen it's like this person is in the dark complete darkness because the eyes of the moon are closed there's no light at all and then suddenly the divine <laughs> just comes in and flicks the light on that's how it's going to be for them there was an offer in the past uh, it didn't get off the ground or somebody walked away from an opportunity they may have been over emotional they could have acted quite uh, maybe immaturely or just uh, on the spur of the moment and now uh there's a renewed interest this card is repeat repeating it's on the dice but it's as a, a challenge so the challenge i feel could be within this person's thoughts it could be surrounding some type of message or inspiration even They're looking at the sprout on the stick. It's like there's a, a renewed interest in in um, in this opportunity that they did walk away from, and I feel it. And it's here. <clears throat> they're looking back at it, and they're looking back at what happened. They're looking back at what has been written, what they've done or what has been done which is right next to it right here it's that confrontation and they have to look back here to get this wake-up call it's as they're filtering this information okay that they're going to see 
It's where it's where the light comes on. Oh my God. And yeah, oh my God, these are amazing. Okay, so now now on this dice I get this ten of swords. Okay, that's what this is about. There is still hope here. There, there. This is about looking back at the lessons and learning from them, and that's what this is all about, and accepting responsibility for that which we create. Every decision bears a consequence. The decision they made back here, this is the consequence. And it seems like there's a pattern. I feel like um, I feel like there's um, a pattern that's been going on for years that is about to be broken, frankly. So, and remember what I said, everything, everything happens for a reason. And, and that's why this is happening, as painful as it is for the two of you. It's why it's happening. Because this cycle needs to end. So everything is up in the air and the challenge is to take action. Okay? To leave what? To leave a very heartbreaking situation behind them. To do the right thing here. Okay? Here they are. And they are in reflection on this. To do what's fair. Because there is recognition that maybe um, I wasn't fair. Maybe I made a bad choice. Um, I wasn't seeing, you know. This is a comparison, information, uh, um, a new information that's been given to them about now and then. Okay, now and then. What I did back then is why, you know, this is happening now. Enlightenment is coming for this person. Um, they have trust issues. This is not going to heal overnight because it's a pattern. Um, so I feel like it's a situation that although you are going to, to hear from this person, um, we see here that there's still issues. They're looking back at what they did. They're looking back at this Knight of Swords and this card of Spite. Um, they're battling with their pride here about a decision. This person, uh, about a decision to come forward and to uh, enlighten you or give you information that they've been keeping or that has been kept from you. Uh, or even information that they're just now seeing, you know, or or their realization, their understanding of things now and then, basically, you know. Um, it's been a battle for this person, and I think that there's still healing that will be needed because the sun just begins to rise here, but it will go up full. It... it, it, it you will have that full sun, but it's going to take some work. Um, and But these cards are saying uh, that there is a new beginning, that there is a recovery, that this person is finally going to find the peace, that this is the point where the cycle breaks. This is that point. 
And so something new begins, a recovery. You know, here's the thing. They've come through this very hard, difficult time, and, and Saturn is a very difficult taskmaster, okay? Um, but he often leaves a gift at the door <laughs> at the end, you know? And that's what he's doing. He's leaving at the Ace of Coins. There's the opportunity and the wheel. Lessons learned. Um, fortune turns in your favor or in their in the favor of this person, whoever's going through this, you or them. I'm hearing fortune favors the brave, so it, it would have took courage for them to do this. I don't think that this was an easy task to have to go back and filter through a lot of heartbreak and um, and realize, you know, where it began and why they reacted the way they did because there's definitely a, a greater understanding into uh, their own behavior and and what happened here. Everything happens for a reason. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.